Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon and Flat Earth Homeland. Uh, and I see these as uh, very definitely related because of the work and the uh, research I've been doing on the geographical construction of the United States in relation to the craton, tectonic plates, earthquakes, tornadoes, um, volcanoes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A lot of that uh, by the. Uh, let's give a shout out to Dutch Sense, a guy with a computer that has come up with some amazing observations and relationships of the uh, various ge ge geographical and geological constructions of the world in relation to earthquakes, tornadoes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. Um, all right, so I want to get a, at least one video done here. It's been a few days. I got started. I got interrupted by a phone call on that last one. And where I left you all was, I had a map of Switzerland up. We're going to get to that. But I'm going to backtrack here and start with the beginning of this study. And um, I need to go back to this one. Uh, I left the... Uh, Website here, alt-market.com, altmarket.com. You can see that here. This was a uh, kind of a forum, um, a lot of it economically oriented, um, trying to predict uh, various trends and whatnot in the United States and around the world. So... That being said, I'm going to go ahead and go to the article itself. I did want to say as far as alt market goes, it was started by a young man uh, kind of based out of Montana, Flathead Lake area. That's where he was moved to. And that was his choice of relocation. And the group was peaked at about 4,000 people and had a lot of stuff going on. Many, many people took part in helping found it, moderate it, help it. But he refused to do any moderation on the group, and it just totally destroyed it. Um, there was one man, one man who was a troll on that group, and he drove the, a lot of the founders away, a lot of the people that helped start it, um, set it up, organize it, software, set up the website, uh, just destroyed it single-handedly. So when you're looking at internet and you start studying and you find people that are really negative and insulting and whatnot, that's one of the hallmarks of a troll. They're there to destroy. They're not there to help. They're just there to ruin things for everybody else. And that, that guy did that. His name was Guy something or other in Kansas. Total troll. Total, I could use a lot of French words like he did, but he was just a uh, not a nice person, and he ruined the group. So that's where this is taken from. I wrote on two forums, Alt Market a lot, and also on a website slash forum called Prepared Society, which is very well moderated. It was moderated, and it is still in operation. So what I would do is I'd, given the figuring out how to use their uh, software, they're, they're, um, I can't remember what this one was called. I might run across it here, but anyway, it doesn't make any difference, uh, to be able to write articles and make them look nice. And people always complained about to me about using big letters and stuff. Well, I'm glad I did because this makes for a very, uh, decent, uh, screenshot and slideshow. And that's what I'm doing here. I've got my phone set up. The tablet is my screen and that's what we're about to do here and have been doing. And it's going to allow me to get some information out there that I otherwise wouldn't be able to. I used to be, of course, online with my computer, with DSL and completely free internet. Now I'm paying through the nose for it. And uh, But this tablet has really helped a lot. I'm going to see if the uh, jetpack I got can get my computer online because I've got some awesome stuff on Google Earth uh, about the Ozark Plateau. And I'd like to cover that. But I can't do it without being online and having just the, the peace and quiet and the ca capability to, to look at it and, and video it. So anyway, that's kind of a little bit of uh, for 
uh, comments introductory. So, all right. So once again, I'm going to go to the next screen because this one is just to, to show you the article title there and the first part there. So there we go. Okay. Now this is an introduction to, as I call it, the uh, strategy of survival in relation to geography, history, military strategy, and national resources, natural resources. Now, <clears throat> Has my writing done any good? Has it helped it change anybody's lives? Well, two people that were on this forum met me through the forum, came out to visit, one from Michigan, one from New Jersey, and came back and bought land here. The uh, guy from New Jersey, I could shoot an arrow from my bow from my family's farm and hit his okay he bought within 400 yards of our farm the other one lives right down the street from where i'm at now i don't live on the family farm even though i led my family here blah 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 um went through a divorce and etc and so i go i was over there last night and you know at the house and my son's house and whatnot so we'll have four houses four families living on that farm on 40 acres and uh temporarily i'm over here about eight miles away but uh another person moved from michigan and bought a farm just three miles down the road and it is uh beautiful if i got there and i said you know i could just sit stand here on this porch for about two hours and just look at this place just a picture perfect beautiful small farm so yeah, my writing has changed some lives. There's 20 families here in the Ozark Plateau that were not here before. They are out there scattered around the country uh, wondering what in the heck they're going to do to be safe. And now they're here nearby and their lives are, are totally different. And I think everybody would say a lot better. So, <clears throat> and I wanted to say that before my beyond off-grid interview, which was going to be at our farm. The producer, director came up with his $3,000 camera, and I had set up my geodesic dome, uh, zip tie dome. Shout out to John Hurt of uh, Zip Tie Domes. Look up ziptiedomes.com, zip tie domes on YouTube. And that's where my interview was done. And my granddaughter was able to run the camera because... Uh, the director's son, he had, had had a falling out with his crew for some reason. I never did know what. But his son was too short and wasn't capable of handling it. My granddaughter, thanks to her grandmother, Joan, um, had trained her in using cameras, and she was excellent. She was my videographer for my interview. Well, before that interview, I wanted to have something going on, so I had the dome set up, and I had an in-ground rocket stove in it, which you can look up the videos on that under both my Jerry Diamond channel, which they have like 70,000 views, and I do not know why, on how to get out of Babylon. They just have a few hundred. <clears throat> but uh, before that interview, I was just, I wanted to have something to show, something that was different. Well, the rocket stove, uh, this, the director had gone up to him, spent about $5,000 out, out of pocket to go up to the Pacific Northwest and uh, film Cody Crone and Paul Wheaton and Rick Austin and a bunch of other people out there. And uh, Paul Wheaton uh, didn't even let him on the property, and he d didn't show him a rocket stove, even though he was in the middle of doing a four-DVD rocket stove, um, you know, crowdfunded uh, production. So I was able to show the director a, a, a novel, a very different approach to a rocket stove using the earth as thermal mass being able to sleep on it with your feet on it if it was not too cold or you know uh, have your chest on it if it was really really cold and over the ground you know laying on the ground but the ton of the uh, exhaust port for the uh, rocket stove was underground so you're actually in in the tent tp yurt cardboard box walmart tent whatever you could have a rocket stove <clears throat> in the cyst in there with no smoke inside and no smoke outside because once it starts he heats up the ground gets hot it's burning all of the thermal mass that you put into it i.e wood twigs whatever so 